y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl rebecca elaine and we're back with another hair video so watch me transform my locks um these long locks into this beautiful short bob you guys when i tell you i love my hair right now i'm actually recording this about a week after i did it and i can tell you i am still loving it um so let's just jump right into the video all right so for this style i'm starting off on a um previous uh style that was pretty much from a bob that i had did back in the day <laughs> back in the day i did this bob like a month ago and i kept it in for a month and this is how my hair had been looking um since then but it really needed to be washed so i had took it down and washed my hair and um as you can see i'm going to put time stamps on the bottom left corner of the screen just so you guys can see how long it took me to do my new style which honestly it took forever as long as it's ever taken taking me to do my hair um granted i did interlock and style in the same day which i've never done anyway so i'm going ahead and sealing in my moisture with my elaine essentials natural hair oil and elaine essentials is 100 percent pure natural oil blend created to moisturize dry scalp and stimulate hair growth i'm dedicated to giving you the very best hair oil with a focus on natural hair locks and overall healthy hair y'all i know that sounds like a commercial but i need it too because this is my own product and if you don't know now you know shot with your girl at www.elaineessentials.com i'm not gonna lie y'all i love this oil and i might be biased because it's mine but i've been locked for the last like, almost six years oh my six year anniversary is coming up in january y'all whoop, whoop. anyway i've been locked for almost six years and this is the only product that i use on my hair besides rose water so yeah um anyway we are going to get into interlocking a little bit so um at first it's kind of fast but don't worry i am going to slow it down and show you all what i'm doing but this is just kind of like an inside look at um what it takes for me to do my own hair but in terms of interlocking um the way that i do it is the four point rotation and usually i'll start off by going up and just kind of get it in pull it through then i'm going to go to the left um, I'm gonna go down into the right and you guys will see that um, in terms of interlocking I'm used to it by now but you really want to make sure that you section off one lock at a time if you've never done it before um, because you don't want to interlock two locks into one and I've done that before I've talked about it in my previous interlock videos um, but let's just get into this interlocking and then once I'm ready to do the style I'll come back and talk to you guys about it I'm actually starting a style here, but it's a little bit difficult to tell. So I am gonna um, get a different angle and show you exactly what I'm doing. So for this bob, I knew that I wanted it short. So the first thing I needed to do is just measure where I wanted to stop it. Um, I, I wasn't exactly sure of how to do the bob because I was just going off of a photo from, um, I think her name on Instagram is Spirit Love Locks. If that's not her name on Instagram, I know that's her name. Um, on YouTube I believe either way I'll leave it in the description box below but I was trying to I didn't know how she did it exactly so I was just kind of trying to figure it out um, so the first thing I did was kind of fold my lock and then I wrapped it up but then this is the actual style so uh, if you didn't if you weren't able to tell I folded it up and then back down and then I wrapped the remaining lock around and there was a little loop on the bottom that I pulled the remaining lock through um, y'all i don't know if that's the best way of explaining but you will see it again um one of the things that i had to do was make sure that um, i had enough um, space on the bottom of that loop to actually be able to get the hit the lock to go through it um and I, I don't know i don't know if i'm explaining well but hopefully you can see what i did because as you can see i measured and i folded it up to where i needed it to go and then i brought it back down the thing about it is it's a little bit tricky in terms of knowing how far up to kind of take the lock and then how far down to fold it i played around with it and you guys will see that so um just, you can check it out for a little while i think i got a couple more angles from the back and then um, i brought it around the front so i'll come back and talk to you guys once i um, come around to the front actually while we're still back here one thing i do want to show or tell y'all is that 
the ends of my locks aren't blunted they're very curly especially when my hair is wet and so um, that was another thing that was kind of giving me a hard time in terms of um, pulling the end of the lock through the loop is that the ends of my locks are like kind of curly and they're not locked and so it didn't just pull right through like maybe somebody who has a blunted end with the actual um, like the actual ends of their locks being locked um, so yeah I think that was important for you all to know and as you can see it was a lot of trial and error and that's why it took me so long to do this style because not only am I interlocking but I'm trying to figure out okay what do I need to do in order to get the desired look that I want and I'm very like meticulous when it comes to my hair specifically because I'm in the military and so my hair has to be neat and um in appearance and so I didn't want to have like bulky knots because essentially this is like a lock knot right but I didn't want to have bulky knots and so I really wanted to take my time and wrap the hair around the lock in a way that was very neat um, and tight that I knew would stay although some of them have come down but I think that some of them is coming down because I've been shaking my hair like a mad woman and so it's kind of shaking and not to loose and then I just kind of put them back but as you can see very neat pretty even um, and that's because I take my time so here we are at the front and as you can see it is now 3 p.m. and if you didn't realize in the beginning I started around noon um, and that's including like washing my hair and stuff but still it's like three hours later and we are still going at it um, the ones in the front you can see that I'm folding it a lot further down on the shaft of the lock um, and that's just because I did want my bob to frame my face um, if I wanted to like maybe like a pixie type of style, then I would just go ahead and fold the lock like pretty much in half like I was doing in the back, but I knew that I wanted it to be a little bit longer. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, pretty much the same. I just want you guys to see it, just get different um, views of how I was doing it because you know, I don't know if I'm explaining it very well, but I think that you can see it better than I can explain it. So yes y'all it is looking so good but it was a little bit shorter than I was used to but I just wanted to keep going. Um, also I forgot to mention that I was trying to film uh, or not trying I did also film a reel for Instagram and so some of the clips are in this um, is this landscape or portrait I think this is portrait they are in this um, portrait view um but it was more so for my reel so you if you follow me on instagram then you've already seen how i did this style but if not then make sure you follow me on instagram at rebecca elaine um but again i'm just showing you all how i interlock and then i'm gonna jump back into the style um i i don't know that i've ever shown people on instagram how i interlock my hair so i just wanted to do that um in terms of interlocking or just kind of while i have you guys here listening I've been interlocking my hair the whole time I've been locked and I know that there's been like a lot of like controversy here and there about like should you interlock or not but honestly I, I love interlocking my hair. Um, I don't do it as often as I used to when I first started my locks so back when I first started I probably would interlock like every six to eight weeks now i probably interlock like every three to four months and so um it just depends but that's because i'm often doing like two strand twists and things like that and if i do those then i'm retwisting my hair and there's no point in interlocking when i retwist um anyway um here we are almost five o'clock at night and we are only halfway done but look at the difference y'all look how long my locks have gotten shout out elaine essential jazz but i was tired y'all um but we finally finished uh oh no 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 nope. i thought i tricked myself this is not finished <laughs> we are three fourths of the way done um it looks finished but there's a surprise in the back um where is it because i know i was i'm looking at this and it looks like it's finished but i know i know I, I, I know <laughs> but I was just trying to make sure I liked how it looked which I did love how it was choppy in the front but there we go there's my tail hanging in the back we still had a quarter left to do y'all um other thing that I want to tell y'all about the style in turn in because of the fact that I answer like is um I don't really get a chance when you retwist you really like kind of palm roll your locks and you can maintain the frizz a lot better than you would when you interlock and so 
the style has a lot of frizz and to be honest with you i'm not mad at it but um some people may not necessarily like the frizz but um that's just something that i know comes with interlocking especially if i'm not doing some sort of um rope twist or something that's going to like maintain the actual shaft of the lock and if you can tell like the ends here are a little bit dry um that's just because my hair was drying and so um over time now I like spray my hair with water and like the dry end that I see in the front is actually pretty curly right now so um all I have to do is spray it with some rose water and it kind of looks a lot better now um so that's just if y'all kind of see that and if you're wondering um anyway at this point I'm on the last two locks and I was so happy to almost be finished but I really hope that this tutorial was helpful for somebody um I know a lot of people were asking me how I do this style and like I said I did put out a video on Instagram but I wanted to put out something a little bit longer and try my best to explain it a little bit better so I hope it was helpful if so make sure you um, let me know in the comment section leave me a big thumbs up if you haven't done so already um, please consider subscribing to my channel and y'all if y'all try this style tag me on instagram let me see it like i said i'm not the innovator i saw this style from spirit love locks i don't know if she did it this way but this is my interpretation of her style but if y'all do do the do this style make sure y'all tag me on instagram because i want to see but let's let the, the rest of this video play and i will just catch you all on the next one peace